I'm Jack Buckley. I'm the Commissioner of the National Center uh, for Education Statistics in the U.S. Department of Education. In the United States, we have an unusual situation where we have funded uh, both through state money and also federal uh, assistance uh, the development of student level data systems uh, in, in all of our states. But those systems were built uh, without first setting uh, common standards, without first having sort of a common set of elements uh, or a data model so that we're in a situation now where we've had this, these data systems but they can't speak to each other horizontally uh, across state lines or even vertically in many cases within a, within a state. So for example, the, the early learning uh, data cannot be passed to the K-12 data, which cannot be passed to the post-secondary levels. And so the purpose of CEDS, or some people call it SEDS, is to create a voluntary common vocabulary of data elements and a data model uh, so that we can implement it in those systems and actually have true interoperability uh, among our data systems. We're collecting tons of data from the earliest levels to, to the labor force on you know, children as they become adults, as they become you know, workers. And the problem is all those systems just can't talk to each other. And so we're trying to solve sort of this, it, it's a simple problem to explain. It, it's been challenging to solve, but getting sort of retrofitting, because you can't, you know, this is a, this is a plane that's flying. You, you're trying to change the, change the engines on it while it's flying. We can't just turn all the data systems off, implement this, and then bring them all back on. They have to continue to operate. And so we're trying to sort of both get everybody to the table to understand you know, what, what do we need to have in these elements, which we've had fantastic participation, and then you know, how do we get the message out that this is something that we all need. There are already fantastic examples of, of leading edge uh, educational research and researchers presenting here using data from individual state data systems. So folks that have gone in and they've figured out questions that they can ask uh, across all levels of education. So for example, using uh, the, the students' test scores within a state, uh, tying them back to their teacher, their feeding, their teacher, and then their teacher to their teacher training program and looking at how to evaluate uh, teacher training programs using these data. Well, unfortunately, what often happens, uh, because the, the assessments are different across states, but also because the data elements are simply defined differently, that a lot of that research has to stop at state lines or even has to stop uh, at, a, at a level of education within the state. If we can build, uh, you know, rebuild these systems to a common set of standards, to a voluntary uh, vocabulary, then researchers will be able to draw from, you know, 50 times the data, for example, when they're going to ask a question and really provide a lot more uh, detailed information that's common across states.